Hey guys, it's me, Blaze of War. I just thought I'd show you my Wii screen before I get started here. Uh, today is Saturday, January 22nd. It is actually 10.40 a.m., not 11.58. I forgot to change this for daylight savings, and I don't know why the minutes are messed up. So, as you can see, I got the GameCube game in there, the internet channel, and the Final Fantasy, which I haven't played in a while, Super Mario Bros., Lost Levels, Donkey Kong Country, Kirby 64, Crystal Shards, Pokemon Snap, there's Earthbound that I had to, uh... Well, yeah, I guess I might as well tell you now. I, I injected a wad onto my Wii using Homebrew Channel, which is right there. Um, there's my Pokemon Ranch, there's Majora's Mask, which I bought. I'm probably gonna record my voice and upload the videos that I recorded when I was streaming. They're probably not going to be that great though. It's Paper Mario, Ocarina of Time, and this is, uh, I don't know what that is. A link to the past probably. Netflix, which I never use. There's a photo channel. There's these things. And here's some a couple of uh, emulators that I installed as channels. So anyway, let's get right into it. Stop wasting time. Alright, welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. In the last part, I said I was going to take on Venus right away, and I kind of lied, since it's not the same day. So, um, I'm going to do that now. So all you have to do is use that R disk that you found. But first, I'm gonna go check out and see if Silva is okay. Cause I think there was not. Okay. So you can't really do anything here. I found the key to this place. Please let me out. That's all he does. Oh, that's all he says. I mean. All right. So you use the R disk over in this UFO thing. Remember, we got the R disk from Silva. Before fighting those guys. I think you can just, you don't even have to talk to them then, you can fight them and talk to them after. Anyway, rightward direction, we're gonna go right. Now, this is obviously my first attempt doing this, so, uh, if I fail, then, well, this part will be cut out and I'll be in a blooper special, which I haven't had much before lately. Okay, folks, we're ready to go on the air. Anyway, before you go up there, right down here, you can find three rare candies. Hooray. And I don't think there's anything in here, but we might as well go in here and check. Nope, okay. Lady Venus is especially confident of her right profile. What about her left profile? Hey, you there, don't wander around on the set. Testing, testing, the rain in the under is accompanied by thunder. Testing. Oh wow, you're good at rhyming. I hope I didn't screw up the timing. And if you try to leave down there, she says, quiet on the set for some reason. So, let's talk to her. You two, you're holding up the film shoot. We're about to begin filming. Wait, who are you? Ack, I recognize those faces. Those faces were on the blacklist from headquarters. How did you find us? That's not important now. I'll squash you myself and collect a reward from Mr. Nascor. And we have to battle her. Oh, joy. Venus. She's your Venus. She's everyone's Venus. So, um, each of, I, I, don't, I don't think I mentioned this, but each of the uh, Cypher admins has a strategy. Like a specific strategy that they usually stick to and you'll fight them a few other times and they'll still be using that strategy. Um, so like, Mirror B strategy was using Rain Dance, along with Rain Dish and Swift Swim. Uh, Daykim, he used mainly Earthquake Protect combo, and then later on he has some Flying types and some Levitate Pokemon, Pokemon that have the ability to Levitate. Uh, Venus, I think she just focuses, she focuses on using Attract, and other status ailments, like confusion there. Although that was water pulse, but yeah, that's still confusing. So, let's get rid of this Delcaddy. Hopefully it doesn't, oh, yeah, there we go. Cute charm. 
And yeah, there goes that file plume using Q Charm too. I mean, that uh, track. So we want to try to get rid of that Del Caddy and also get rid of that Vile Plume. Fortunately, Entei is not affected by the Attract, so it won't have to worry about uh, that. But it's confused right now, so that's also not really that good. Um, there goes Vile Plume. And she's got a Steelix. If you have a Fire-type move, that would be really good to use here. Let me make sure I'm still That's good. Alright. Hitmontop is in love with Delcaddy. So we're gonna go ahead and do that again. Triple kick on... well, actually no. Yeah, I'll do triple kick on Delcaddy and Shadow Rush on Steelix. It's probably not gonna work out very well though. Even with the critical hit. Yeah, that's not much. That's why I kind of want Entei to learn uh, Fire Blast. But it's not going to learn Fire Blast. Yet. I mean, it does learn Fire Blast eventually, but not right now. So, so Entei's looking kind of weak. It's not good. And come on, Entei. No. Steelix is taunting, but I don't really care all that. Well, I can't heal Entei, and Hitmontop's not really doing anything, so I'm just gonna call it and hope that... Well, there you go. Hope that it doesn't faint this turn so I can heal it, but I know it's gonna faint this turn, because... Well, just watch. There you go. Bye-bye, Entei. Jump off. I'm gonna save that for later. Mantine, that might be helpful. I'll try that. Go for it, Mantine. I think Delcaddy has Shockwave, so that might not be good. But, there we go. There goes Delcaddy with the triple kick. Die. Thank you. Alright, so now we don't have to worry about that. And a bayonet. But then I think that also has a track, so I'm gonna have to look out for that. Steelix got rock slide, but fortunately Manton invaded. Uh, I don't really think we have to worry about Bayonet for now, because I have males out and they're not gonna be attracted to it. So let's use that and that to gang up on this Steelix. Triple kick, probably not gonna do a significant amount of damage, but. Oh, uh, well, that's pretty good. And hopefully Bubble Beam will take care of it. Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball's physical in this generation, so... Shouldn't have to whirl... Oh, yeah. That was pretty close. Yeah, special defense fell, but who cares. Bubble Beam! Go! Hopefully... Ooh, critical hit, nice. Nice. Alright, so there's Steelix. Of course, she has a shadow Pokemon, which we'll get to as soon as she's in out. There you go. Shadow Suicune. Who would have guessed this game has a shadow Suicune and a shadow Entei? Oh, there's a shadow Pokemon. Well, okay. What do we do now? Um. Hmm. I'm gonna try Shadow Rush on Bayonet and Bubble Beam on Bayonet. Of course, it has Shadow Rush. So oh, there goes Man Time. Man Time. It's Man Time. Be a man. Man up. Oh well. I guess he can man up. Anyway, uh. Swablu. Try that. Swablu has Sing, so it might be helpful. Shadow Rush. I gotta get rid of that bayonet, that's what I'm worried about. Well, not worried so much as... I don't know. Yeah, let's try taking on this sweet... Well, no. <laughs> we don't want to take on that sweet just yet. Let's try for Sing. Well, this 
could take a while. I might have to start using revives or something. Ooh, that's nice. Now all I have to do is hope for a critical or something. Thing, but I missed. Suck. Alright. Try one more Shadow Rush and use Swablu's turn to heal, maybe? Perhaps. I do have those uh, lemonades. I'll use those lemonades on it. One of those lemonades on it. There we go. And of course, Sweetman's gonna use Shadow Rush and probably knock out Swablu. Yep, I guess it did. I haven't even attacked this sweet coon yet. I'm kind of scared to. Uh, let's see that metatite. Boy, kind of down to the wire here now. I might actually lose this battle. Well, no. All right, so there's Bayonet down to low HP. Got psychic. Oh crap! Oh crap! I didn't know that. Well, it's attacking metatite. That's good, I guess. Uh, one more Shadow should take care of that Bayonet. And let's use Meditite's turn to revive something. Revive on Man Time. I'm gonna keep that out. Surf? Oh boy. That's kinda why I want Man Time back. Because Man Time, I think Man Time is Water Absorb. That'd be really nice to uh, just take that hit very easily. But of course it also has probably has a roar beam. Or does that not does it not put in a roar beam yet? But it does have shadow rush, that's pretty dangerous. Alright, so now we got this pretty well handled thing to say anymore. We're going to go ahead and rapid spin on Sweet Coon. And wing attack. I don't want to hit too hard, but we also kind of want this to go quickly. Well, that wasn't too good. Let's try wing attack to see how much that does. Yeah, that wasn't really that good either. Well, I don't want to hit it too hard, but... See, it's gonna mainly be using Shadow Rush because I have Mantine out now. But, uh. And I have to watch out for that recoil that it's causing itself because that might faint itself. And that's pretty good. I do have the Netball. Remember that? I have the Net. net bit, bit, bit. I do have Netballs, so I could use that and it might work better than Ultra Ball. So I'm gonna use those. Start using them. And we'll continue chipping away at its health. I mean, I don't know what else to do here. Probably should be reviving other stuff. Just in case my... Well, I know, uh, I know Hitmontop's probably going to faint this turn. Just watch. He's probably going to use Shadow Rush, and it's probably going to target Hitmontop. There you go. I called it. So, so awesome. Jump Puff. Now it's probably going to start targeting Man Time. Since it's lower on health. Ooh, that's nice. So I should go ahead and use Sleep Powder. And with Man Time's turn, I am going to use a Revive on Swablu. I might not need it, but you know, just making sure. Oh, there we go. Sleep Powder, it actually hit. Now that it's asleep and in the red, we might have a chance here, maybe. I'm not going to attack it anymore, it's in the red now. So, go ahead, netball. On Suicune. And we're just gonna waste Mantine's turn, calling. 
now. 15 minutes already. Jeez. Well, some of that was uh, me being stupid. And, oh, wow. Okay. I thought I was going to get caught, but that was pretty close. And it's going to stay asleep for a while. Hopefully. If it isn't, then, well, it comes Not really stupid. So let's try that again and then fall. I don't know what else I'm gonna do in this part in this uh, video. I haven't really thought of it. Oh wow, okay. Two uh two balls. First attempt. Usually it takes me a lot more than that. Alright, so we beat Venus. I'm your Venus. I'm your fire. Your desire. Or is it pure desire? Oh no, Lady Venus was knocked down! War! Run away! Eee, how dare you! How could I get bested by a mere boy? Remember this, I'll get back for- I'll get you back for this. Right. So, we get another Ein file up here. This is Ein file F. Final reports. Some interesting discoveries were made about the purification process. There are several ways to cause the opening of a door's heart, and the resulting effects appear to differ with the original nature of the Pokémon. Also, as the purification process advances, the Shadow Pokemon retain, regains its moves in its original nature. When the purification process is complete, the Pokemon regains the experience points it has accumulated, perhaps even enough to level up. But effectively using these features, it may be possible to create even more powerful Shadow Pokemon. Yes. Basically, that explains how they got so high leveled, or maybe it explains... Wait, what was that? TM45? Is that, uh... It's not Thief, that's... Attract. Okay, well, that makes sense. She, she uses Attract a lot. So, anyway... You're gonna wanna follow her. She goes through the same doors that Ayn did before. She goes down that path there. Before you do that, however... If you go here, you can undo this lock here. And I think that's you you can only do that from that side, so oh, let's talk to this guy. I wonder when is Lady Venus gonna give me a shout out? Probably never since she just ran away. Oh I didn't see her, but you know, she just ran over that hallway over there. Anyway, now you can come up here and hey look, it's the Coliseum. So you can go ahead and heal, you can go ahead and save, which I'm gonna go ahead and do, go ahead. I probably should purify Suicune right right away. And I guess I might as well have, I might as well show the uh, time flute. So let's do all that right now. There's a sweet coon there. Sweet coon. Uh, da 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 da. Hmm. It's gonna replace Mantine. Unfortunately, Mantine's gonna have to say goodbye. My throat feels funny. Anyway, save. We caught sweet coon. We're about 18 minutes in. I might have to remove some junk from the beginning, but at the opening sequence, I'm just gonna remove that. And, uh, I don't know. Well, this this will probably go to half an hour. I don't know how long. I'll have to end up stopping somewhere. So, anyway, let's go to the gay village. It always sounds to me when I'm playing these videos back that I'm saying a gay village. I'm saying a gate village, but I don't know. It sounds like I'm saying to me anyway. So anyway, we're gonna come down here, and this guy's up here now. So I really just failed by walking into him. You fail, Rui. You fail. So anyway, we're gonna come in here. And we're gonna purify Hitmontop and Swablu. So let's do that now. And I might just cut these out. No, actually, I think I'll still show them. It matters, but it probably people probably care about it. And Swablu didn't really gain that much experience, so it didn't level up at all. And there's another Pokemon in here somewhere. Probably hit him on top. Yay! Hit him on 
top has been purified. A early for me to say that. Anyway, it gets back agility, it gets... Ooh, that's a nice amount of experience. Level up, level up. And we get the stupid ribbon. No, I don't want to nickname it. Now, is there anything else? No, okay. Now, in order to use the time flute, you have to be in this area, I think. Um, and you use it, just like that. You pick which Pokemon you're going to use it on. Usually people use it on Entei, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use it on Suicune. My first time flute I'm going to use on Suicune. So, you play the time flute, and you get this cutscene here. Celebi automatically purifies your Pokemon completely. 100%. Doesn't get any experience. It's rain dance. Yeah, no experience. And it gets the ribbon, as usual. So, there you go. That's what happens uh, with the time flute. I'm going to be probably showing that one or two more times, depending on. Well, I don't know. So, let's check out this Suicune. It's naughty. That's not really good. But it's got Surf. And Gust. And rain dance. Who cares about Leer, though. Uh, Swablu, it got Mirror Move, and, well, Fly it had before, but that's not really that good either. Some of these, it's just better to leave them as Shadow Pokemon. I mean, maybe not Meditite, because Meditite has attacking moves that are actually good. Relax, too. But, I mean, like, Jumpluff, all has his Mega Drain right now. Probably not gonna learn much to, uh... I don't know. Like, I have to get rid of Cotton Spore, because I don't really like that. Maybe Synthesis I'll keep, but I don't know. Entei, I know that learns Stomp and uh, Fire Blast when it gets purified. Quiet? Ew. That's not good either. And well, I mean, here, Hitmontop just gets Triple Kick. It doesn't really actually get that. It has, it has that as a Shadow Pokemon, but it, this is the only move it really has. Aside from Rapid Spin. Uh... I guess technically I could be teaching these things moves, but I'm not going to. Because I don't really have anything, don't I? I don't have much. All I have is this. And Steel Wing, I mean, what's that gonna do? There's nothing. I don't think there's anything in my party that can move Steel Wing. Well, maybe, yeah, Swablu probably could. But I don't really care about Swablu. Sorry. So, anyway. That's done. Now that that's taken care of, actually, I'm going to go ahead and sneak in out there in front. Like so, like that. Now we're going to deposit Swablu and exchange it for Ledian, I guess? Yeah, Ledian. And let's just drop it off here. It. I'm gonna save again, making sure again that I am still recording. It's been about 25 minutes. And we already healed, so I'm gonna go back to the under. I guess I'm gonna, so I don't have to show you. The under. Might be able to fit one more battle into this video, and that's yeah, that's about it. That's about it. All right, so now we're back down here. I probably should have just saved here instead of saving at a gate, but save again. Save, yes. Go ahead. Progress has been saved. Oh, cool. We're fully healed, so. It's now, we go back down here, and we, we have this door open, so we can just leave here. Now, you can go the way that Venus went if you want, which is this way, but you'll, uh, you'll see you can't really actually do anything down there, so I'm gonna go this way first. And you'll see Venus runs over here to an elevator. The elevator goes down. 
and it gets to the bottom floor and you don't really see much after that but if you look you'll see the elevator hasn't returned so you can't actually go there you can't actually use that elevator yet whoops there are other spies they're not getting past me so we got hunter frena or frena frena she's got a jigglypuff and a shroomish oh oh boy how exciting But we got Suicune and Entei. Whoa. That sounded like a lag a little bit there. Um, I don't know if you guys heard that or not. If you did, I'm really sorry. Anyway, we're just gonna use the usual, you know, Shadow Rush. And we're gonna have... Well, I probably just saw me do that. Suicune is getting experience. Entei was getting experience already, so, yeah. And we got a Gligar, but guess what? It's a Shadow Gligar! Oh, wow! Uh, let's use Gust. I don't know how much that's gonna do on, uh, Shroomish. Not that much, apparently. Look at all these crappy natures. Jeez. Anyway. Try that again, and... it missed. Okay, that's weird. I didn't think it would miss. I wasn't really paying attention though, so probably because I wasn't paying attention that I missed. And this thing is mega drain. Just gust again, and shadow rush again. Oh, that's why I missed, because using the sand attack and being annoying. Whatever. Yeah, keep missing. Okay, that might draw this battle out a little bit more. I want to have to go beyond 30 minutes, and in fact, I really don't want to go beyond 15 minutes, but I'm making Pokemon Coliseum episodes 30 minutes long, and when I eventually get back to doing Earthbound, uh, those are just going to be 15 minutes long. I'm kind of scared to use Surf, but... So, let's try using Gust on this Gligar. And I can Shadow Rush on the Teddy Ursa. Make it different. Maybe something will actually happen. Maybe. Maybe no, right? Nope, it's gonna keep missing. Critical hit. Wow. Even that didn't do much. Yeah, this is probably gonna go beyond 30 minutes. Hold on. Gust. Shadow Gush. Ooh, critical hit. Yeah. Finally, you actually do something. Take out the Teddy Ears. Well, no. My feet are cold. Oh, you guys probably don't care about that. Oh, great. Torment. Now I can't use uh, Shadow Rush again. I don't want to clear, but I guess I have to. I don't want to have to, but I have to. What? Oh, yeah. Another critical. Nice. Oh well, there goes Entei. I kind of figured that was gonna happen. Send in Jumpluff. Help me out here, Jumpluff. You gotta help me. I need some help here. Try and adjust. Well, that's what I've been doing. I don't know I said try and something. That Teddy Ursa is gonna be a pain, I can tell. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Might as well get rid of it anyway. Didn't miss. 
Alright. Gligar is fast asleep. And let's get rid of that Teddy Ursa. Bye bye. Alright. Now all we got is this, uh, this Gligar here. We're gonna use Gus. And we're gonna use Cotton Spore. Slow it down. Not that, I, not, that that, not that that really matters. But, uh. I don't know. Might as well. Just use it to waste a turn. Actually doing something by lowering the speed. Oh, great. It's got. It's gonna. It's gonna use sand effect. Well, that's gonna wreck my uh, sleep powder technique thing. Oh well. Anyway, I keep hearing the sound sort of lag a little bit. I wonder if that's my computer or if that's the game doing it. I don't think it's the game doing it. But all right, so let's try sleep powder. Oh wow, didn't miss. I'm surprised. Now let's sleep again. Now we're gonna use Gus again. Ooh, critical. Yeah. Yeah. And now here's where the position would be nice, but unfortunately uh, I can't get that positioning just right every time. So let's try using the Ultra Ball, I guess. Yeah, Ultra Ball. On that Clogar. And we're over 30 minutes already, so it's going to take forever to upload. Forever. Right, so there goes my snag ball. It's going towards that Clogar, and the Clogar's in the ball now. It's shaking the ball even though it's asleep, and the ball just caught it. Yay. Alright, so, uh, next time on Pokemon Coliseum, I will finish going down the stairs. See you guys then. I'm going to cry, okay? Uh, no, it's not okay. I don't want to cry. Alright, see you guys then.